Okay, you guys, Dr. Mindy here, and let's talk about your skin, okay? So this video, I'm gonna give you some really good concrete ideas on how to improve the, or slow down the aging skin. Let's talk about how you can make your skin glow, that healthy glow. What is it that, what, what are the nutrients you need to make your skin glow? We'll talk about wound healing. Everything that I talk about in this upcoming video, you can apply to any skin condition, but especially to slowing down the aging process on your skin. So get ready. Okay, you guys, let's dive into the topic of skin. I wanna talk about just skin health in general, but I also specifically wanna talk about aging skin since this is the Reset Your Age series. Um, and I wanna talk about fasting and where does fasting fit into that because we talk about fasting so much here on this station. Um, but I also wanna give you some other ideas if you're trying to repair skin, if you're trying to slow the aging of skin down. I wanna move beyond just fasting and give you some real thought process, uh, process to think about and some nutrients I want you to look at adding in to improve your skin health. So let's start off with this idea. I believe that there are three major concepts you need to apply in order to have healthy skin, okay? The first, whatever is going on your skin on the outside of your body is a direct idea or representation of what's going on in your gut. So remember that your skin is the largest organ in your body and it is how your body is going to push toxins out. If the microbiome of your gut is off, it will change your, the, what's happening on the surface of your skin. You have a microbiome on your skin that communicates with the microbiome in your gut. So those two things are talking all the time. So the very first thing that when I sit down with a patient, I look at what's your, going on in your gut. Your gut is, is going, if we can clean up the gut, most of the time we'll clean up skin. Second thing, for those of you that are aging and you're trying to minimize wrinkles, the, you have to think about collagen production. So after 30, our collagen production starts to go down. Our body's not making as much co uh, collagen. This is where fasting can come in. I wanna talk about some really cool studies that I found that are showing like wound healing, fasting, especially longer fasts um, are improving wound healing because of the collagen production. So with aging skin, we wanna have, optimize our collagen production as much as possible. So I'm gonna talk to you about that. And then the third thing that I want you to think about are nutrients. So if this is one of the reasons I'm not a fan of some of these variations like the carnivore diet. I, I, and again, I think there's a, a time and a place for the carnivore diet, but done over and over and over again, you're gonna be lacking nutrients and ultimately that's gonna show up on your skin as well. So three major things to think about your gut, collagen production, and your nutrients. What kind of nutrients are you bringing into your body? And in nutrients, I'm gonna of course put water. Our skin is, is, has a ton of water in there, so you always wanna make sure that you're drinking water. But that's overarching, that's kind of the big picture of what I want you to look at. Now let's talk about fasting and where does fasting fit in to those three things that I just mentioned. So of course, let's go, let's start off with, with the gut and let's dive into the idea of stem cell production. We know if you've been following my channel, my, one of my favorite studies to quote is the one done by MIT that a 24 hour fast will start to upregulate the stem cells and repair the stem cells inside the intestinal mucosal lining. So if you're listening to this and you're like, okay, yeah, I think some of my acne, my psoriasis, my eczema, my, um, my rashes, it's, uh, that could be due to something going on in my gut and, that, and you're resonating with that thought. Hands down, the best thing that you can start doing is implementing some more 24-hour fasts because you're gonna get stem cell production. So the second thing under stem cell production to remember is that those of you that are doing three and five day water fasts, we get some stem cells, really massive amounts of stem cells on those th third, fourth and fifth day. And I'm sure you guys have seen this where your skin will be like a really 
uh, have a really healthy glow to it. I can tell here in my clinic when patients come in, I can look at them and go, oh, you're fasting because you can see it in the color of the skin. You can see it in the hydration of the skin. The skin physically looks different. And a lot of times that's coming from those stem cells. So the first, at, when you're looking to repair your gut, you want to think about stem cells. And then I want to take that one step further and say, when you're looking at repairing your skin or slow, slowing aging down, you want to think about stem cells and how can you get as many stem cells as possible? And that will help with repair of the skin. It'll help with repair of, of your intestinal lining. Okay, let's dive into collagen. Second thing to think about is collagen production. So um, there has been research done on mice. So I'm going to put these studies in there showing that um, that when you've been fasting anywhere from 24 to some of the longer fasts, a lot of the research I found on collagen production, and they were all done on mice, I didn't find any human studies, um, and they were all done on wound healing, a lot of it has to do with the longer you fast, the more they started to see an upregulation of collagen. So 24 hour fasts are good, three to seven day fasts are even better for improving collagen production if you wanna do it via fasting. Now there are, this is where, I don't talk a lot about this on my channel a lot, but this is where I am a fan of bone broth fasting. So if you wanna try a, a, a 24 or even a, like a three day bone broth fat fast, there would really only be a couple of reasons why I would encourage you to do that. Um, one is to repair your intestinal lining because the, the glutamine and the glycine in bone broth will really help with intestinal repair. And those of you that want to help with skin repair, bone broth uh, fast can be fabulous for getting the amino acids, for helping the collagen that's in bone broth, um, can help your body make more collagen. And then you'll see that in your skin. So if you want to use fasting as a tool to improve collagen production, you're going to need to go longer with your fast, and you might want to lean into a bone broth fast. Um, there are other really cool ways to improve collagen production. So your diet, so cutting out sugar and alcohol and processed foods, all of that breaks collagen down. Um, we're big fans in my office of, of this product. It's called Collagen ECM, uh, put out by Systemic Formulas. A lot of my uh, 50 and beyond clients uh, use this on a daily basis. You would want to use it in your feeding window. It should not be done in your fasting window. So, and it will dissolve into water. It does have high protein, so it, does, it will kick you out of autophagy. So if you're doing an autophagy fasting day, it wouldn't be great. I'm not a fan of putting collagen in your coffee. I know there's a lot of people out there that do it because it takes you, because of its high protein, it will take you out of a fasted state for most people. But in your feeding window, collagen powder or protein powder can be really good. You want to get a pure source, by the way. Make sure that it has whatever collagen bone broth powder you're using, that it's been tested for heavy metals. Um, that is really, really, really important because a lot of these powders um, are packed with heavy metals. Okay, so that's collagen powder. Um, I talked to you about diet. I talked to you about bone broth fasting. Let's talk about red light therapy. So there's some great research. Again, I'm gonna put it in the notes here for you, showing that something like a juve light, we've got a couple of them coming into our new clinic. I've got one at my, um, at my home. I just, you can just order the juve go and put it right on your face. 10 minutes a day will improve the collagen production of, your, of the skin um, that you're trying to heal. So if you have psoriasis, you could put the Juve Go right over psoriasis. If you are trying to slow down again the aging process on your face, then you can put red light therapy, Juve therapy right over um, your skin 10 minutes a day and it'll help with collagen production on the skin. So it, collagen to me is the biggest re thing that you wanna think about if you feel like your skin is aging quickly. Um, you really wanna learn how to upregulate collagen production. So fasting longer, bone broth fasting, um, cutting out sugar and alcohol, red light therapy. Those are all great ways to improve collagen production. Okay, now let's go to the idea of what happens in these shorter fasts. So something like intermittent fasting. 
So we know that somewhere between 15 to 24 hours of intermittent fasting, you're actually getting a huge spike of growth hormone. Now remember, after 30, you don't get a lot of growth hormone. Your body's starting because the body is like, that's 30 tends to be that pivotal point as growth hormone production goes down, you're starting to um, get less of the growth hormone. So you start holding on to weight a little bit more, you start aging a little bit more at 30, primarily because of growth hormone reduction going down. Well, there was a great study. This one, again, I'm gonna put it on there, done at Intermountain Medical Center. Um, that they found men who fasted for 24 hours had a 2,000% increase in circulating um, human growth hormone. You can't get, I mean, there's lots of people trying to get you like growth, human growth horm hormone supplements, there's shots, uh, not helpful. Those, are, those are, have all been um, deemed toxic. They're not considered safe. But if you're a man, you could start throwing in some intermittent fasting every day. You can throw in some 24-hour fast, and you're going to get a 2,000% increase. Women will get a 1,300% increase. So um, this is why I say a fasting lifestyle. If you want to get more human growth hormone, slow down the aging process, get more collagen production, fasting lifestyle. This is why we fast. Okay, the next thing that I want you to think about are antioxidant production. So antioxidants, the more antioxidants you have in your body, the more it will delay the breakdown of collagen. So antioxidants are found in a lot of the uh, fruits and vegetables that you eat. Now, in a keto lifestyle, we don't typically eat as much of the, of the fruits, right? So we really need to lean into the veggies. If we're not leaning into those veggies, again, this is why I'm not a fan of doing something like the carnivore diet over and over and over again, because you're missing those antioxidants. And the more antioxidant rich your body is, um, the more your, or the less collagen um, breakdown is gonna happen. So it slows the aging process down. And there, I'm gonna put in here a really cool study um, that was done by a woman that shows that uh, isolating a plant-based antioxidant diet um, delays the aging process and can um, really counter the, the breakdown of collagen fibers on the skin. So, uh, so eat your veggies, your mom, your mom was right. Um, okay, and then the, this is really crucial and something that, I don't, again, I don't talk about enough, and that's what else does, what other nutrients do the, does the skin need? And it's a proper omega-3, 6, and 9 balance. So we have, we are in love in our culture with omega-3s. But let me tell you what happens to you guys that have cleaned up your diet, you're, you're fasting a lot, you've brought, naturally brought the harmful omega-6s down in your body because the standard American diet, the processed foods is really high in the bad omega-6s. But you've maybe, let's say you've cleaned that up. So now you've brought that down and you read an article somewhere that says, hey, I should probably increase my omega-3s. It will help with my joint pain. It'll help with my skin. And what you don't realize and what I really wanna, I should probably do a whole video on this, is that there needs to be a proper balance of omega-3, six, and nine. So if you bring six down with your diet and you boost omega-3 with, your, with uh, a supplement, you now throw that balance off and you actually put your body in more of an inflammatory state. You start to harm your skin even more. So there are only two supplements that I like that help to create that omega-3, 6, and 9 balance. My favorite one for the skin, if you haven't used Pure Form, this is my favorite balance for, um, for getting that proper omega-3, 6, and 9 ratio. I can tell you when I take Pure Form, I can feel the difference in the softness on my skin. We have the most amount of receptor sites on, for omega-6 on the surface of our skin, but it's good omega-6. You wanna be taking in the good, avoiding the bad, like the canola oils and the vegetable oils, and adding in the good. If you wanna improve good omega-6, um, from a food source, that's where you're gonna lean into raw nuts and seeds. But I personally try Pure Form, it's an incredible supplement and I can really physically feel a difference and see a difference in my skin when I'm taking it on a regular basis, okay? So 
there you go. That's a lot of really good information. Um, antioxidants too, by the way, if you're looking for a good antioxidant supplement, I like Aventa or Rocks. All of these, again, I'll create links in there if you want to um, dive into my some of my favorite. But let's, you know, think about this from a more complete level. Yes, the answer is fasting can absolutely slow down the aging process of the skin. And there's so much more to the skin story. I want you to think about how do you uh, improve collagen production? Can you lean into some of the bone broths fast? Can you find your favorite collagen uh, powder that you do in your feasting window? Try the Juve Light Out. Those kind of things are fun and they really over time will have a massive impact on the skin. Um, then look at those omega-3, 6, and 9, lean into your veggies so that you, I mean, you should be, when you're, not, when you're not fasting, you should be loading up on a ton of green vegetables, um, not only for your microbiome, but that will make a big difference for the skin um, as well. And then of course, the answer is yes, the fasting lifestyle, the longer you fast, the more collagen production, the shorter fasts are gonna help with um, human growth hormone, they're gonna help with antioxidant production, they're gonna help with some stem cells. Um, so it's the magic is in putting it all together and that's really what I want when I dove into uh, looking through the research and giving you guys a formula to follow. That was like my one message I wanted to get across today is it's, that fasting can help and there's so much more. There's so much more to the picture. So, okay, as always, let me, give me feedback. Was that helpful? Um, and let me know if you're having a win with your skin or um, you've had a psoriasis go away or a wound heal really quick and you, you, you found fasting to be a key tool, share it with us. We love hearing your stories. So, as always, I hope that helps.